Our Justice Baidu has been following the tournament for us on the ground. Justice, how did those earlier games play out? It was one of those games that you wouldn't really expect that uh, uh, at number of goals, the game between Equatorial Guinea and Guinea-Bissau. It wasn't really one of those fancied games because there were two other big games that were going to be played later today. Everybody's eyes were on these two latter games. But this game actually did not just produce uh, six goals. It did also produce the first uh, um, hat-trick of the tournament, uh, the, uh, um, the captain of the uh, Equatorial Guinea side, he did put in three goals and that was an exciting day. Equatorial Guinea, they dominated from start to finish and they now uh, have gone on top of that group, um, making that group a very, very dicey one. That also includes uh, Ivory Coast, the host nation, who were hoping to be able to uh, win against uh, Nigeria, another tough side on the continental uh, um, uh, level at least, and be able to at least ensure that they had one leg, one foot in the next round already. Now, having lost uh, one nail to Nigeria, it is really, really open with, now they, 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 they are, they've gone up until third in that group, and it's really, really dicey for them as they ready themselves for the final round of matches in that particular group. Now, Justice, I feel kind of guilty about doing this to you because as a Ghanaian, you have a lot of stakes in this game. Uh, Ghana is uh, facing Egypt. It's not too bad because it is half time and it does look like Ghana is one up. Are you feeling confident? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Ghana came into this game <laughs> as the underdogs. Ghana came into this game as the underdogs. Uh, Egypt, seven time winners dominant side in this tournament they are not so used to losing um, and uh, you know ghana ghana's team not so strong especially around this time uh, losing their opening game against cape Verde. They, it this is definitely a must win for them and so there is huge pressure uh, from ghana for this team to be able to win at least because for them anything apart from from a win would almost mean that they are going out of the tournament and so it, it, it the whole uh, stadium was up uh, in raw when uh, mohammed kudus the west ham man uh, netted that goal in uh, almost uh, at the tail end of the first half egypt though has dominated the game and it put it makes the the, the second half which will be starting in a few minutes a very very uh, interesting one to look out for ghana would be hoping to be able to consolidate this win and to make sure that they have this three point and see out the game egypt would also be looking out to ensure that they come back uh, into this game and try and win because for both of them uh, uh, losing this game is definitely not an option well, as you flagged up just a few minutes before the second half kicks off, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thanks very much, Justice. I am totally impartial, but I wish you your dreams. Good luck to your side.